so I'm not sure if you can hear me. Is it good? Okay, so I'm going to speak about emails and basically to introduce myself, I'm an intern in the Red Hat and I'm also studying at this faculty and the topic is my diploma thesis that I'm building. <coughs> And we are in need of the feedback, if we are going the right way and so on. So that's why I'm here and why I'm talking about that. So what are we doing? Uh, we believe that in uh, the archives there is a lot of information that is not used correctly. And that's why we are building an application that should help the users to find the answers for the questions. And uh, the current implementation we are using in Red Hat is one there, the, uh, the mails from the months are just pushed to a zip and are stored there and you can just go through threads. Well, yeah, you can add some full text, but that's all. We need some text and we need to customize it and so on. So that's the reason why we are building an application that should do it. <clears throat> so, as I said, it's my diploma thesis, and basically we are making a knowledge base out of that archives that are not used, and it's an open source project, and I'm sharing it on GitHub, so feel free to check it if you, if you want to. <clears throat> and to tell you what I'm doing, basically I am uh, in the three environments I'm using at its client server and I'm also using cloud and in cloud I'm, I have deployed searches because it's a project that was introduced in this room three hours ago and it helps me to search in emails so that's the thing that I'm doing and to, to say more basically on the server I have an application just imagine some guy that is that has some checklist of all the emails, um, all the mailing lists that he's, he's able to support. And if he needs to, he just collects all the archives and puts it to his box. And he's also listening to the upcoming emails and one by one, it's pushing it to the box. The box is just the database he's using. And that's the server import component that I'm using. <coughs> I used MongoDB as that box and that's quite it. Uh, the second, so let's imagine that that guy has a brother that is helping him to handle the box. And the thing he does is that he's, he knows how to sell the information. So if somebody wants something, he just checks that box that he already has. And if, he, if he's unable to find the information, he will ask the friend. The friend is search is called that is deployed in the cloud and I'm also sending all the scanned emails to him so he can make an index to search it. So basically the export is the bottleneck and he's answering all the questions and he's, he's responding with all the emails that are, well the response for the request from the client. And the third component that I'm building is the client that it's like a window of the application that when a user comes he wants to see the answers of this question and this is the just the web application that is just pushing the request to my server. So the, there is a list of technology that I'm using. I'm using pretty faces to show to have a nice URLs. For example, I'm using JSF and so on. And this is in action. I'm not good at, at graphics, so it's not that good. And my focus is on the server side. So basically, I'm just using it for the testing purposes. But this is how it looks. Here you can see that currently I'm showing all the latest emails in the mailing list. And there is also, OK, you can't see the URL, but it's like if you if you put the mailing list, the name of the mailing list to the email, it will show you the latest emails there and so on. And that's what I'm play, playing with. And again, to sum it up, there's a search is going to cloud. There are two 
application in the server, and there is a client that is always asking for the emails, and that is like a window to that application. Um, basically, that's it. So if you have any questions, or if you have any feedback, or if you know about something that we are not aware of, feel free to tell me. There's my email. There is also the GitHub URL where you can check the project. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Or just check. Feel free to send me some feedback to the email. Um, I'm quite interested if there is, oh, oh sorry. Well, the thing is that we are trying to make it more user-friendly to search for the information, basically. We're using the emails to, to scan it and to add some information like text to remove some spam and so on. And then it's quite easier to find the information. I hope. Is that the answer? Thank you. So... So, okay, so just thank you for your attention and...